Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, just giving you a quick missionary update. And uh, this past week, we counted 120 salvations, and so we're pleased with those results. Uh, good soul winning again, and uh, we had great attendances, though, which was the most exciting thing. Um, we tied our record in Manila on Sunday for a non-special event. And so uh, you just never know with church, because two weeks ago we had our lowest attendance in over a year, and then uh, yesterday we, we tied our record. So um, you just never know if there's ups and downs. Sometimes families can be out and stuff. But we had a lot of visitors, and uh, you know, it was great, great service. We started a new series on the weekend on how to spot a psychopath. And so people might wonder, why would you preach a sermon series like that? Well, I mean, the Bible speaks about psychopaths. It uses the word reprobate. And so um, many people at our churches have asked me about the topic recently. So if five people ask me about something, it means there's another five that are secretly thinking about it that haven't asked me. So I kind of take that as a preacher as a sign that that's probably what I should preach on. And so it's a topic I've studied before, but I've studied a little bit more in depth. And we did an introductory sermon this past weekend we're going to start going through the psychopathy checklist that the industry uses and identify those 20 characteristics as they're found in the Bible with people that are either psychopaths or potential psychopaths. There are people in the Bible where it's not necessarily 2 plus 3 equals 5. The Bible doesn't always tell you if someone's a reprobate, but they very well could be. And so we're going to be looking at that, and those 20 characteristics are things found in Scripture. And so we continued through 1 John, and we talked about how to know God in 1 John chapter 2. We covered the first uh, you know, half to two-thirds of the chapter, and it's not about how to get to heaven. When the Bible says, hereby we do know that we know him, it's not saying hereby do we do know that we're saved. It's saying hereby we do know that we know him, meaning that we're right with God that we're walking in the light, that we have fellowship with God, that we have a close walk with God. So many of those verses people try to apply to salvation, but they're actually about service to God, not about salvation. So we looked at that, and then we're still in 1 Peter on uh, Tuesdays in Pampanga. We have our midweek service going there with soul winning a couple hours before we start the service. So that's going really well. And so attendances are great. We tied a record. We're excited about that. And so, um, you know, we, we do have a soul winning marathon coming up in June in several weeks. There is a Muslim holiday, holiday on a Tuesday. So we're going to have a soul winning marathon here in Pampanga. We're going to have a soul winning marathon in Metro Manila. And we're also going to be hosting another soul winning marathon in Beagle. So just pray for us that we have good weather so we can have uh, great results. And so things are going pretty well at our church. Um, you know, we're excited for the big attendance and it's kind of funny because um, I preached a series on psychopaths about two years ago and uh, when I preached through that series like our attendance just like went up you know we had new people coming and everybody seemed to love the series and everything and it's like I preached the introductory sermon and then we tie our attendance record so that's kind of interesting hopefully that will continue through the rest of the series but it is a topic that although it's disturbing it is something that we need to be aware of and something that I think most people are kind of interested in because if you're a normal person, whether saved or unsaved, you have a conscience, it's really hard to, to look and think of people that have no remorse, no guilt. The Bible says that although they were born with a conscience, as it talks about the Gentiles in Romans 2, they show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness. There are people that the Bible says their conscience has been seared with a hot iron. And of course we preach a lot of sermons against the LGBT and sexual perversion is one of the major, major attributes of people that are reprobates. But there's also a lot of other subtle traits, and that's kind of the main focus on the series. It's not a four-part series against the LGBT. It's a four-part series looking in-depth at a lot of the subtle characteristics that um, we should probably you know, pay attention and be ready for. So anyways, I hope you can join us on our YouTube. If you're not in the area, you know, check out our YouTube, uh, listen to the sermons and everything like that. And uh, things are going pretty well at our church, and just continue to be in prayer for us. And thank you, and God bless.